this video i'm going to show you how to put tapes on the violin should you put tapes on the violin absolutely yes because as a complete beginner you need to hear what correct sounds like you need to hear what the correct note is supposed to sound like so when the tapes are off your ears would be able to move your fingers to that correct sound you used to hearing so i advise all my beginner students to make sure that they have tapes on the instrument although as you go further down you're not going to need these tapes Having tapes on the instrument doesn't mean you're going to be looking at the tapes all the time. You'll be looking for your first couple of tribes. As you move on, you're not going to be looking that much, which is going to graduate you slowly into taking the tapes off. So let's get straight into it. All you're going to need is going to be a scissors. We have our scissors here, a tape, and then you have your instrument. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing for you to ensure is that the instrument is in tune right to make sure the instrument is in tune um there are some digital tuners that are very very helpful you could even download them on your phone one is called n tune and the other one is called master violin tuner master violin tuner i recommend this one because as you play the string um it shows you what frequency um that string is on so for the strings to um be considered to be in tune they need to be at a particular frequency so for example your a string we have a there it should be at that 440 hertz so when you play that a and you have the tuner in front of you make sure you turn on the tuner correctly and start tuning as you play it's going to record you're going to see the frequency moving around so we want A to be at 440. So if it's not at 440, I've done a video on tuning, I'm gonna link that right here. So make sure you tune that first, right? Make sure every string is in tune. Then the next thing is we're still going to use that tuner, that end tune or master violin tuner for this next phase. We need A, A, we already have A, we need B, C sharp, D and E. We're going to be using the A string to learn how to put that tape on. Good, so haven't tuned it, the first thing to do is to put the first finger tip, which is our B right so we make sure that a is still in tune when you're doing this this is very very critical to this process so we're going to play our b our b should be 493 right so we want to be at 493 if you're 493 points a couple of numbers that's good or don't go to 494 don't go to 492 make sure you're at 493 good so let's cut our tape and then we're going to move further from there Right, if it's the first time you're cutting tapes, um, you might spoil some pieces and then get a grasp of it. Right. Hold it that way. Use our scissors to cut from both edge. Right, you play around with cutting tapes, right? Just get you um yourself used to what it feels like cutting out these tapes. Right, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have the instrument on our lap like that. We're going to have the instrument up here, and you see this tape we just cut, we're going to pass it under there, right? So, haven't played that B and took note of our 493. So, I advise my student most of the time, when you get a 493, use a pencil and mark that place, because that's where you're going to drop that tape. Do not tie the tape around yet, right? Because it's very, very important to check it. Let's check whether that B is 493. So play that B, check it. Right, so you're going to see the tuner kind of fluctuating between 492, 494 and so on. But we'll make sure when it sits on 493, you see how that is? Right, and as you're doing this, check the A again. Make sure the A is still 440 because if the A is not 440, your 493 might be a false one. So it's very, very important to check that A. It's not 440, use the fine tuner to fix that before you try to get the B, which is 493. Good. So that's that's our B right there. The next thing is to make sure that this the the, the tape is straight, right? All true, right? Good. You don't want it slanted because it's going to affect other pitches as well. So when that's done, we're just gonna wrap this around like that. And just like that, you've successfully put on your first tape, right? So that's our B. And on the D string, that will be our E. And that will be our A on the G. That will be our F sharp on the E. So it's very, very important that you make sure that the 
um, the tape is completely perpendicular to the string. So you have those notes on those strings. Then the next one is going to be your C sharp. I already have those here. So you're going to repeat the same process we did for your C sharp, which should be 553 heads. Your D should be 568 heads. Your E should be 659. In some of these tuners, you're going to see when it, the pointer aligns on the alphabet you're looking for as well. But the numbers are way more accurate as these are finer than just the alphabet if you've not subscribed this is another opportunity for you to do that click that subscribe button give me a thumbs up on this video if it's helped you so far let me know what i helped you in the comments as well go do this and we're gonna see you in the next one